I'm actually super excited because today's topic is an idea sent in by a listener and they wanted to know more about Dave's finances in particular. All right, sounds good. What, what have you got for me? Well, I guess a lot of the questions today probably come in buckets of like, I guess what you'd say is like inflows, outflows, or like current positions, right? So, you know, there's like how much savings, what's your investment portfolio, that's positions, outflows, and you know, what you're spending and inflows are like, you know, what you're bringing in to, to move it forward. So if I could just start with say the outflow part of it, expenses, like, you know, and I don't know if you'd want to do this and I assume most things here would be household yeah so like across your household how much do you spend a year like how much leaves your transaction banking accounts every year at the moment at the moment it's probably so we're about halfway through the year but it's probably tracking to be something like sixty thousand dollars for the year and so that is our personal expenses but also the interest on our mortgage and if you add the principal in it's it's higher than that again so it's maybe closer to even seventy thousand but the principal is a bit like a saving in a way because it doesn't really leave your net worth so even though it's a cost it's still kind of not really a cost where that money disappears forever so it depends how someone wants to account for that in their finances i've seen people account for it in both different ways so to make, make of that what you will well, if I could break it up then, yeah, it's like you've got you've got your principal, which I think we can ignore because to your point, all you're really doing is transferring money from a transaction account to equity, to, you know, more equity in a home kind of thing. If we then just look at like the interest or servicing components, I mean, you've obviously got these assets, which cost money to keep alive in terms of the loan, et cetera, like these investment properties or your current property and the interest on that. Of that 60K, how much of that is just that, you know, that expense interest component if you had to ballpark it? So just to be clear, I'm completely ignoring the investment property property side of things this is just our personal expenses sure because you treat investment properties as like they have their own income they have their own costs and they're just over there in a bucket so this is just the interest on your house you live in correct it's probably something like twenty thousand dollars a year at the moment depending on the balance and the rate so obviously you have to kind of average that out but yeah it's about it's about twenty thousand a year i would say yeah sure okay and that that sounds like it's a mortgage somewhere between a quarter and a half million if it's variable if we take out all of the interest and principal parts how what do you actually just spend so the expense, like our personal expenses, is probably something like thirty to forty thousand dollars. I would say probably somewhere closer to thirty. And so maybe a third of that is groceries and sort of eating out, cafes and restaurants and all the rest of it. And then it kind of goes down the sort of obvious list after that. There's some travel and some health expenses and some car expenses and all the rest of it. So I've detailed all of this stuff on my blog. Each year I do that actually. So if anyone's interested, they can have a look at those those kind of breaks. Downs. 